What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw a cute Christmas penguin. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the beak. We're gonna start right in the middle. Start with a curve going out and then down toward the left. Go back to the center, go out and then down towards the right. Now you wanna bend this out towards the edge of the beak, on the left and right side. Now I wanna connect the ends with a curve coming down the mouth and then back up on the right. Let's draw the bottom of the beak. Starting from the left corner, coming down the middle, round this out, and up on the right. Now I'm gonna move out to the side and draw two ovals for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. Starting from the top, come all the way down towards the bottom of the eye, and then back up. Now I'm gonna line up the top over on the right and do the same thing. Coming down, and then back up. Let's add a small circle on the top of each eye for highlight. And it'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Now we're gonna move up and draw the bottom edge of the hat. Let's go all the way over towards the left side. I'm gonna draw a curve going up above the eyes and then bring that back down on the right. Let's round out the side of the hat brim. We're gonna go out and then bend that in towards the top. Now let's close off the top with a curve. We're gonna go up and then bend that back down. Now you wanna flop the hat over towards the right side. So we're gonna start on the top left. I'm gonna bend this up over towards the right and then bend that back down. Let's add a circle on the end. Now on the top right, we're gonna add a fold. We're gonna go up and then in. Now we go back to the top of the circle, step down, bend the hat going out, and then down in behind the fold. Let's add that trim in the center of the head. We're gonna start over on the left side, bend this in, and then out on top of the beak, go over towards the right, and do the same thing. Let's go back to the corners of the hat, draw the side of the head. We're gonna go out, and then down. Let's connect the bottom of the head with a curve, coming down the middle, and then we'll bend that back up. Let's add that trim on the side of the head. Starting on the top left, we're gonna go around the eye, come down and then in. Now we're gonna wrap a scarf around the head. From the bottom corner, let's step up. So we curve this around and then in. And we'll connect the bottom corners of the scarf with a curve, coming down the middle, and we'll bring that back up. Now let's tuck the body in underneath the scarf. From the bottom corner on the left, curve the body going out, come down towards the bottom and bend that in. Now we're gonna bend this back up towards the center of the body. Let's go over towards the top right and do the same thing. We bend this around, come down and in towards the bottom, and we'll bend that back up towards the center of the body. Let's add a trim along the inside. Starting on the top left, curve around, down towards the bottom. I'm just gonna pull that up towards the middle. I'm just gonna round this out and trace out the right side. Now let's draw the end of the scarf. We're gonna start in the center of the body, bend this out and then down. Draw a straight angled line going up towards the right and it'll follow that same curve going up underneath the scarf. Now let's add some stripes inside the scarf. We're gonna start right in the center, draw a straight line coming down. Let's move over towards the left. We're just gonna bend this out and then down. Let's move over and do that one more time. Let's do the same thing over on the right. Step over, bend this out towards the right and then down. Move over and do that one more time. 
Let's add two stripes along the bottom. We'll add one line going up along the bottom, move up and draw that again. Now tuck the feet in underneath the body. We start on the bottom left, then the foot coming down and then out, go over towards the right and do the same thing. Let's round up the toe, going around and just bending that in. And layer a second toe in behind. Starting on the end, we go out and pull that in towards the side of the body. Now we're gonna move back up and draw in the left wing. Let's start from the bottom of the scarf, curve the wing coming down and then out. Round up the wing, come down and back in towards the side of the body. Let's add a trim along the bottom, coming down and then in. Now we're gonna have our character holding a large candy cane on the right side. So let's start from the side of the head, draw a straight line coming all the way down towards the bottom. Let's round up the bottom of the candy cane and we'll pull that up about halfway. Now you wanna wrap the hand around the outside, starting from here, cause in and then bend that back out. Let's connect the top and bottom with a curve out and then back in. Now I'm going to go back up to the top, I'm going to curve the cane going around and then down towards the outside. Let's round out the bottom and pull that up. I'm going to pull this up and then back down in behind the hand. So we go up, round out the top, I'm just going to line this up with the outside. Now I'm going to fill this gap with the arm. We're going to line up at the top of the hand, then the arm coming down and in behind the scarf. Step down, draw another curve, and then we'll add a trim along the bottom. Now we're going to go back and add some stripes inside the cane. We're going to start from the bottom, we'll step up, angle this down and out towards the right, move up. I'm just going to repeat this all the way up towards the top. I'm just going to change the angle up and out towards the side. And I'll finish off by sounding our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw a Christmas penguin. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your request in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.